Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the second video of Chew's Day, the British Day of Chewing. Now, some of you, some of you know, some of you don't know, um, there is going to be a special live stream this week about announcing some special stuff, and we're going to be going over that in uh, this particular video. Uh, Kabam also put out on socials a, a little kind of like, I think it's like it's funny because I, I love the way Jax kind of interacts with. Um, with Caban Mike, um, Mick. Uh, we'll look at that video in a minute. I, I thought it was hilarious, um, really, but it's... Uh, anyway, it's to the point. Get to the point, Rich. Uh, and that is uh, this, that we're having a live stream on Friday 14th, so that's at the end of this week, of course it is, at 9am PT time, UK time. That is... Um, is that 5pm? 5pm. Oh, that's annoying. That's around my dinner time. Uh <laughs> I'll put the old reaction thing after uh, it's kind of like posted. And also, I think there'll be a subsequent thing that we need to kind of look into because um, the details for Act 8.2 uh, are going to be uh, going to be dropping. And that's going to be great. I hope there's um, a, a forum thread on that one because a lot of the time you'll get things like node information, rewards information. And look, let's face it, that's going to be what we need to see. And I will, you know, break things down and dissect some stuff. I'm interested to see what the rewards are going to be, whether or not they're going to be on part. No, they wouldn't be on part of EOP because that's treated treated as Everest content, and I don't know whether or not story mode is is treated that way anymore. Who knows? Because Kabam's rhetoric on things is always uh, true. But <laughs> any case, um, that wasn't a mistake, by the way. I just wanted to do that, just to kind of say ridiculous. In a nutshell, that's me doing noises and sounds to imply that sometimes Kabam are ridiculous on things. But we'll get a first look at seven star champions. We'll dive into seven star release date. That's going to be important. We're also going to look at the base pool. And look, let's face it, this is going to be big. Like the same problem we had when six stars released into the game. This is really down to if you get a champion for the first time of a new star ridge, is it going to be usable for you, and that is going to be the biggest thing to, to know. And we'll have to do like a, I guess, what are going to be ones to avoid? I mean, look, you can't avoid them. You're going to get them. That's the thing. If you like, it's like saying, oh, I don't want to get um, Daredevil or Superior Iron Man. Tough. People might actually get that if that is the pool of champions or in those pool of champions. I'd be pretty disappointed if I was like, do you know what? I can't do anything with a Daredevil. I can't do anything with a Superior Iron Man. And ranking them up feels like an absolute mistake. Unless Kabam ramp up their buff schedule. And that's going to be a key thing as well. Key factor is how much Kabam will, will move with pace with buffing up champions. Especially if they put some real, at this particular point recording this video, duds with bunny ears, duds into the, um, into the pool. In any case, I digress, moving on. And and yeah, there will be Stat Focus, which is the brand new feature that is exclusive to 7 Star Champions. As a lot of you know, in um, with, with some of the other ones, there is like mini games for some of these, some of these champions. Um, so that's, that's good to a degree. What Stat Focus is going to be, again... You know, it's something to set out these champions as being unique. And what stat focus will be, you know, could you say that it's going to amplify certain stat, stat focus? Focusing on those stats, focus on um, ramping up stuff. So stats on your particular champions. Example, is this part of stats of attribute stats? Because that's, to me, our stats. I know I'm repeating the word stats a lot of time, but I think you get my kind of, like, idea, like, what what uh, Kabam referring to as stats. Stat numbers based on things like attributes or stat numbers based on ability number stats. What do Kabam quantify stats as? Then that's something we'll find out on, um, on Friday. I'm excited for it, but, you know, you, you've got to really hope that there's going to be a good amount of, uh, of kind of, punch and crunch to something that you've saved up a lot uh, a lot of your time a lot of your efforts and a lot of things on so that's again another key factor to this anyway back to the uh, back to the announcement uh, they're also going to be giving out uh, during the stream uh, the first ever seven star champion to one lucky twitch viewer 10 lucky runner-ups will win uh, one of 10 six star nexuses tune on to twitch to take part in the giveaway so the great thing about this is that there's going to be... I love the interactivity. I do think at some point we need Twitch drops within it um, because, again, that's down to kind of like reaching a different kind of audience. It's 
difficult really i mean you look at what marvel snap have done when it comes to how they've done the interactivity on things like twitch and and how kabam have not even kind of like gone through that avenue and if anybody again just to kind of reiterate stuff that you know i know a lot of people like don't like the idea of like twitch being this kind of go go to platform for um like uh yeah twitch not, not for, for gaming in general mobile gaming and stuff like that there's a lot of interactivity that could have been used a long time ago and stuff that would have been better for the, the kind of growth of, of MCOC. But yes, I do agree that it's very much a YouTube orientated streaming, like, you know, popularity platform. Um, but uh, there's a lot of missed opportunity Kabam have had over the years uh, for the game. That, I, as I said, the case study is look at what Marvel Snap have been doing. They've had better success with kind of getting their game on Twitch. Their interactivity, interactivity, if that's a word, is better as a result. Their viewer numbers are better as a result. But, you know, it is what it is and time goes on. In any case, the exciting, well, it's not exciting, but it's the annoying thing. If somebody gets to access that seven star, the one they get, they get, they win, they get to access it like before anybody else. Actually, I think it's like three days prior to the launch which is crazy. And it does give this idea of like what the timeline is for the release. Is it a case that it will be later on this month? And it'll be pretty exciting. Like later on this month, if like people are open up, opening up seven stars and the cost, that is something that I want to find out. There's something that's kind of been hanging over my head. And that's why a lot of the time you'll see me doing these quick like six star kind of like opening videos is I want to know how much it's going to cost. I want to know if all my effort over the last few months uh, has kind of like been in vain for something that is going to be more than it is. I still hope that this is going to cost, these seven star hero crystals are going to cost 10,000 a piece, 10,000 shards. I'd be disappointed if they are, I mean, look, good. If it's 15,000, I've got enough. I'd be very disappointed if it's ridiculously high because it wouldn't feel like it's fair. The amount of hard work that players have to go in order to kind of get these ones, but at the same time, like, you know, free to play, are going to feel alienated by the extent of trying to get seven stars in its current kind of format. And it may be a case that I'll have to do like a last minute kind of like push to get more seven star shards from duping six stars. But, you know, this is again down to like how Kabam are going to pitch this. Yes, spenders are more than likely going to have access to seven stars a lot more, well, frequently. And that is again just down to, to, to duping and and like you know where they where they've kind of gone with it but in any case like the point to get to is we've got a live stream and exciting things to know i'm excited for act 8.2 i like the story mode content because i think the kabam do an amazing job with it but obviously um the seven star shards and seven star champions do concern me but we'll have to see what the future holds on that now i just want to take the opportunity to react to this this is i love this by the way what are we talking about first we're going to talk about Act 8.2 and the fun things surrounding Act 8.2. Contest. Who's the boss? What's the story about? Let's get into the nitty gritty details and talk about it with the people that made it. Then yeah. we're also going to discuss for the first time ever all the details surrounding Seven Stars giveaway. Hey Mike, what are we giving away? Uh, the first ever Seven Star. The first ever Seven Star? <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I, the thing is, if I ever want to feel like um, bad or kind of like feel meh or kind of like all this house stuff is stress, stressing me out, I will kind of like, I always seem to like come back. The last, last couple of days, this has just been like just a godsend. Just for like, the just the reaction is just, um, uh, it just ma makes me laugh. And then this bit coming up as well, this, this is, this is good. You might want to go check out twitch.tv slash kabam for that. There will be 10 runner-up prizes. Hey, Mick, what are the runner-up prizes? Mick. Mick doesn't know. <laughs> oh, Mick, what surprises? Uh, who's Mick? Mick doesn't know. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I love that. Honestly, yeah, it's uh, one of it. If I, if I ever have like a glum day, I'm just gonna have this video just somewhere and just like play it just for the reaction of the seven stars and also like, who's Mick? Mick doesn't know. Oh dear, that may that, honestly that makes me laugh and that's that's good. That's good to have a laugh because sometimes this world is so mundane and and boring. Anyway, yeah, it's just basically like the announcing exactly what we said. Oh, I should pause this ready. It's just basically announcing exactly what we um uh, what we've just kind of reacted to uh, and stuff. So yeah, um, 
this video made my day. Um, it made me laugh and just kind of a reiteration on it. Um, uh, where is it? Yeah, 9 a.m. I mean, link in the description to Kabam's uh, Twitch and you can go and check it out at 9 a.m. And we'll be doing reactions. We'll be doing like a deep dive. I think we'll probably separate into two videos, especially focusing on the seven stars and the Act 8.2 stuff. Uh, and that's going to be really important. Uh, and as I said, like for me, it's massively important because of investment to seven star shards, investments into seven star champions, and what is going to happen when you open up your first seven star. Um, I like these these kind of like these headphones, but it does look like I'm just kind of like, I don't know, driving some kind of like car uh, carnival float. If you're in the UK, you kind of get what a carnival float is uh, with people on the track, in the track just kind of like, Go around, go like, yeah, 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 yeah. anyway, but some people will get that, some people don't. Um, if you've not seen a carnival float in the UK or no, of a carnival, good luck to you with that reference. In any case, that's been a video. What are your thoughts on all the stuff discussed? Put it in the comment section down below, and I'll see you later on. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye.